SpaceX is following up on a peculiar thief. Tens of thousands of Star Wars toys stolen. Now we've learned they're back with their original owner in Vancouver. Jennifer Dowling is in the studio tonight with the news. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Chris. That theft happened nine days ago, and Richard Bates says that police took the time to return some of the stolen items they had found to him personally this week. Although there are still items missing, he's hopeful people will continue to do the right thing. I mean, look at the condition. Star Wars collector Richard Bates says he's relieved that the shelves and walls that were empty last week are again filling up with the toys that were stolen out of his home. A few hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks, a few hundred, a few hundred, all the way down the line. He says thanks to Vancouver police, about 80% of the lost Jedis, Ewoks, and Imperial fighters have now been rescued and returned to their home base. Everybody pulled together to help me out, and I'm so grateful. Bates says many of the stolen items were sold to a local resale shop. He thanked the store owner who gave them back right away along with online buyers that did the same. I want to thank all them because I know it might have came at a cost out of their pocket. He's also grateful to Detective Ryan Preston. It's nice to see that someone went the extra mile to get something back. Richard says a group of officers returned the items to him personally. Three officers brought it by. Yeah, they were pretty happy about it too. We had a couple of Star Wars fans bringing it back, so it was fun. Richard is still hopeful the other 20% of his collection will return as well. He says what's already been sent back shows that people have the power to walk the way of a Jedi. It's a big testament to the Star Wars community, and I like to see that a lot of people like to uh, hold the, the Jedi thing close to heart. It's not just a thing. Just doing what's right when it doesn't feel good. That's what it's all about. We got to do that. We all have to do that. And police had a few leads on who might have stolen the items early on, but so far no confirmation if there's been an arrest. Back to you. All right.